Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about how to perform logistic regression in SPSS. So we are going to be very brief with this. Okay, so first of all, what is logistic regression? Logistic regression is a statistical method for analyzing data sets in which there is one or more independent variables that determine an outcome. The outcome is a binary variable. That is, example is having a yes or no, or coding it as a 1 and 0, where 1 is for yes and 0 is for no. So use this. Now, a logistic regression is used for predicting probability, probabilities of an event occurring, that is one, and also modeling relationships between independent variables and the binary outcome, which are the yes or no. Assumptions of logistic regression. The first one is the dependent variables is binary. That is to say the dependent variables is either a yes or a no. Secondly, there is a linear relationship between the independent variables and the log odds. Okay, so I'm going to be very fast with this so that I can quickly go to SPSS and how to do this. Then observations are independent of each other for the model should have little or no multi um, collinearity. And number five, a large a sample size is always preferred. So if you are using a logistic regression for your, um, as part of the statistical analysis you want to use for your research work, you should uh, ensure that the sample size is quite large. For the purpose of this um, tutorial, we are just going to randomly get um, a data we can use for this tutorial. When to use logistic regression? Logistic regression is used when the dependent variable is binary, just like we said earlier. Okay, so when you want to predict the probability of an event occurring, or you want to understand the impact of multiple independent variables on an outcome. All right, so our data set will contain the age, the body mass index, blood sugar, and of course their response. The various um, response, whether they are having diabetes then type 2 diabetes or not okay so let's quickly go to SPSS so in my SPSS I already have the data here inputted so under the variable view I have the age body mass index blood sugar and um, high um, the, the response so now under the has type 2 diabetes so under the um, values so here you see the zero implies no and one implies that yes so that is how we code it and we go to the data view so we just input random figures here for the purpose of this tutorial so now let's move straight and go to the the analysis proper so let's go to analyze we go to um, regression under regression we go to binary logistic and we'll click it so under the dependent variable, we are going to move um, the response, whether they have or not, to the dependent variable. And the independent variables will be going under the covariate. So having done that, um, we click OK. All right, so here's our result. This is just a summary of our data and the block zero that is the beginning block talks more about the baseline okay so where we are interested this baseline here talks about the baseline without the predictors all right so our major concern is in the block one okay so our major concern is these variables in the equation all right the classification from the classification table we have um the number of those who have diabetes 2 Okay, given the predictors, so we're having about 70.7% uh, 70, 70 and those who have, who, um, who have, and those who, who, those who don't have uh, about 70 to 70, 70.7%, 70, 70 while those who has is about 81.4%, uh, and the overall percentage for the model is 77.0. Okay, so let's go a quick, uh, let's have a quick interpretation of this under the variables in the equation. All right, so under age, we are having 0 0.075, okay, and um, this p-value here, which is less than 0 0.05, so it's significant. So this implies that a one-year increase in age increases the odd of having type 2 diabetes by 7.8%, uh, 
7.5 percent rather okay so um yeah we're having seven point uh, five percent okay so that is to say for every year increase of age we are going to have about seven point five uh, percent um, increase and it is of course statistically significant so let's quickly go to let's quickly go to the um, body mass index so also we are having um, here we are having the beta here as uh, 0.057 and the p-value here is greater than 0 0.05 it is not significant what this is implying is that for every unit increase in body mass index there is an increased odd of having type 2 diabetes which is about 5.7% uh, there all right so and of course it is not statistically significant so the body mass index may not be a reliable predictor in this model all right so let's quickly go to blood sugar level for blood sugar level the coefficient there is minus 0 0.006 all right so now and the p value here is um 0.364 what this is implying is that um, for every one unit increase in blood sugar, blood sugar level, slightly there is a slight decrease, and the odd there is about um, 0 0.6 percent. Okay, although, like we can see here, it is not statistically significant. So this constant here is minus um, 3.996, and it is. Look at the p-value here, 0 0.015. It is statistically significant. So what this means is that um, the constant indicates the odd of having type 2 diabetes when all predictors is zero. So that is what this is implying. And it is statistically significant. So in conclusion, age is a significant predictor of type 2 diabetes with higher age increasing the likelihood of having the condition from our um, results here so also the body mass index and uh, blood sugar level like we can see here do not significantly predict type 2 diabetes in this model all right so this model generally shows a reasonable predictive uh, power with 77 uh, percent overall accuracy however adding other variables or refining the model may improve the predictive strength so you can add other variables probably like um um uh societal um um, um stem level societal level or what uh, the individual eats there are other variables you can actually include in this model to make this model more have increased the the, the, the likelihood of this model um, predicting much more accurately okay so thank you very much if you have any question you drop your question in the comment section and do not forget to like my channel subscribe share thank you